Picture this, it's a warm summer evening in 1965, and you find yourself lounging on the couch, the glow of the television casting a soft, inviting light across the room. The air is thick with nostalgia as you tune in to watch the latest sensation on the small screen. Your heart races with excitement as the opening credits of Honey West roll, and the unforgettable theme music fills the room. The anticipation is palpable, and you're about to embark on a thrilling journey with the first female private investigator to grace your television set. As you sink deeper into the world of Honey West, the black and white imagery on the screen transports you to a time when mysteries were solved with wit and charm. You can't help but be captivated by Anne Francis, the charismatic actress who brought the eponymous character to life with her undeniable charisma and fierce independence. Memories flood back to that first encounter with Honey West clever disguises, the razor-sharp intellect, and the undeniable allure of a woman taking charge of her destiny. Maybe it was her sleek wardrobe, the iconic pet ocelot Bruce, or perhaps it was her fearless pursuit of justice that left an indelible mark on your impressionable mind. Now, let's delve into some fascinating random facts about this groundbreaking TV series that forever changed the landscape of crime solving on television. So, grab your magnifying glass and put on your detective hat, because we're about to uncover the hidden gems of Honey West. Honey West, a 1965 TV series, emerged as a groundbreaking show in the world of crime-solving dramas. Adapted from the popular Honey West mystery novel series, it starred Anne Francis as the titular character, Honey West, a glamorous private investigator with a penchant for adventure. What set Honey West apart was its unique blend of detective work and the fashion-forward, independent spirit of its lead character. Honey was not only a savvy investigator, but also an expert in martial arts, adding an element of action rarely seen in female-led shows of the time. The series garnered attention for its progressive portrayal of a strong, self-reliant female lead, challenging gender norms in the 1960s. Honey West's fashionable wardrobe and stylish gadgets, including her pet ocelot, Bruce, added to her allure and became iconic elements of the show. Honey West made its mark by breaking new ground in depicting a confident, capable woman in the traditionally male-dominated detective genre. While Honey West ran for only one season, it left a lasting impact on popular culture by paving the way for future female-driven detective series and inspiring a generation of viewers with its bold and independent protagonist. The show's influence can still be seen in the portrayal of strong female characters in modern television, making it a trailblazer in the realm of crime-solving dramas. In 1965, the TV series Honey West brought a female private investigator to the small screen, making her a trailblazing character. Here are some key facts about the show, character creation. Honey West, the titular character, was created by Skip Fickling and Gloria Fickling. She first appeared in a series of novels, mainly published in the late 1950s and early 1960s. The last novel in the series was released in 1971. Spin-off origin, and Frances played Honey West, and her debut as the character was in an episode of Burke's Law titled Who Killed the Jackpot? On April 21, 1965, her appearance on Burke's Law paved the way for the commissioning of the Honey West series as a spin-off. Unfortunately, there isn't enough information readily available about the ocelot named Bruce in the series. So, there you have it, a quick dive into the origins and beginnings of the 1965 TV series Honey West, a pioneering show featuring a female private investigator. Anne Francis brought the character to life, and her appearance on Burke's Law marked the start of this remarkable journey. Honey West, the American answer to British espionage Honey West, a 1965 TV series, brought a fresh and exciting take on crime solving to American television screens. While it may not have enjoyed a long run, this show left a notable mark in the world of detective series. One interesting fact is that Honey West's character was developed as an American counterpart to the iconic roles of Kathy Gale and Emma Peel from the British TV series The Avengers. Just like Gale and Peel were known for their intelligence, strength, and fashionable attire, Honey West embodied these qualities. She was a private investigator with a sharp mind and a flair for stylish outfits, carving out a unique space in the world of television detectives. Produced by Aaron Spelling, who would later create the wildly popular Charlie's Angels, Honey West showcased similarities between the two series. 
both featured strong, independent women tackling crime with wit and charm. Honey West may have been ahead of its time, lasting only one season, but by 1976, the TV landscape had changed. Charlie's Angels, with a sprinkle of campy elements, became a massive hit. As for its availability, Honey West had a limited DVD release history. In 2006, Delta Home Entertainment released the entire series on Region Zero DVD in the UK. North American fans had to wait until September 2008 for VCI Entertainment to issue a Region 1 DVD release of the series. This allowed new audiences to discover or rediscover the adventures of Honey West. In conclusion, Honey West was a pioneering show in the detective genre, offering an American spin on the stylish and capable female sleuth. Its connections to the Avengers and its influence on later series like Charlie's Angels highlight its significance in the world of television. Despite its brief run, Honey West left a lasting legacy in the realm of crime-solving heroines. In the 1965 TV series Honey West, several notable guest stars made appearances during its 30-episode run. Among them were Joe Don Baker, James Best, Lloyd Botchner, Ed Byans, Dick Clark, Charlene Holt, Nancy Kovac, Kevin McCarthy, Maureen McCormick, Burt Parks, Michael J. Pollard, Wayne Rogers, Everett Sloan, and Bobby Sherman. One interesting behind-the-scenes detail is that Honey West's stunt double was Jean LaBelle. Jean LaBelle was not just any stunt double, he was a judo black belt, professional wrestler, MMA instructor, and stuntman. His expertise added authenticity to the action-packed scenes in the series. Additionally, Honey West had its moment of recognition in pop culture when it was spoofed in Mad Magazine as Honey Waste, showcasing its influence and popularity during its time. This 1965 TV series left its mark with a lineup of impressive guest stars and a skilled stunt double, making it a memorable part of television history. In 1965, the TV series Honey West made history as the first primetime TV series starring a female private eye. This groundbreaking show featured Anne Francis in the lead role as Honey West, a sharp and stylish private investigator who solved cases with wit and charm. Notably, Anne Francis and John Erickson, who played Honey's partner and friend on the show, had previously appeared together as sister and brother in the John Sturges movie Bad Day at Black Rock. Interestingly, both the movie and the TV series showcased jujitsu, as the protagonist in Bad Day at Black Rock also employed this martial art. One intriguing fact is that Aaron Spelling, the producer of Honey West, initially approached Honor Blackman for the role of Honey West. Blackman was known for her role as Pussy Galore in Goldfinger. However, she turned down the role, paving the way for Anne Francis to take on the iconic character. Honey West left a lasting impact as a trailblazing series that shattered gender stereotypes and paved the way for future female-led detective shows. It showcased a blend of action, intrigue, and style that captivated audiences during its run. In conclusion, Honey West holds a unique place in television history as the first primetime series with a female private eye, featuring Anne Francis and John Erickson and having an interesting connection to the world of jiu-jitsu and the casting choice of its lead role. Unyielding spirit, Honey West's cast member unstoppable pursuit of dreams in the face of disease. In the world of vintage television, the 1965 series Honey West shines as a memorable detective show. But behind the scenes, one cast member's journey was marked by an unyielding spirit in the face of a challenging disease. Anne Francis, who played the titular character Honey West, faced a personal battle with lung cancer during the show's production. Despite this formidable adversary, Francis refused to let it thwart her Hollywood dreams. She continued to work on the series, displaying an inspiring determination that earned her the admiration of both cast and crew. Francis never let her illness define her, and her resilience became a symbol of hope for many. While Anne Francis tragically lost her battle with cancer in 2011, her legacy endures as a testament to the power of pursuing one's dreams despite adversity. Her unwavering commitment to her craft and the show left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. In a world where success often seems out of reach, Anne Francis' story serves as a reminder that dreams can be achieved, even in the face of formidable challenges. Her unyielding spirit continues to inspire those who hear her story, proving that determination can conquer even the most daunting obstacles. 
Love in the Spotlight, the tragic toll of public relationships on Honey West's cast member in Hollywood in the glitzy world of Hollywood. Fame often comes at a price. The 1965 TV series Honey West had its own share of drama, both on and off the screen. One cast member in particular found themselves caught in the unforgiving spotlight of public relationships, facing the tragic toll it would take on their life. The show's popularity thrust its cast into the limelight including one actor whose personal life became a subject of intense public scrutiny. Amidst the glamour and allure of Tinseltown, they found themselves in a high-profile relationship that the media couldn't get enough of. The pressures of maintaining a perfect public image weighed heavily on this actor. The demands of fame and the constant visibility that came with it took a toll on their mental health. The Hollywood industry's unrelenting expectations for perfection left little room for vulnerability, pushing this actor to the brink of emotional exhaustion. Behind the scenes, the actor struggled to balance their personal life with the relentless scrutiny of the press. The strain on their relationship and the toll it took on their mental health ultimately led to heartbreak. Their public relationship, once celebrated, had become a source of immense pain. In a world where personal struggles are often overshadowed by the glittering facade of stardom, this actor's story serves as a stark reminder of the hidden struggles that can plague those in the entertainment industry. Their journey through love in the spotlight and the tragic consequences it wrought sheds light on the challenges faced by individuals who find themselves thrust into the public eye. While Honey West may have been a beloved TV series of its time, the personal tragedies that unfolded behind the scenes serve as a somber reminder of the price some pay for fame and the toll it takes on mental health and personal relationships in the unforgiving world of Hollywood. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Honey West, I invite you to take a moment to traverse the corridors of your own nostalgia. This iconic 1965 TV series has woven its way into the hearts of many, leaving a lasting imprint on the tapestry of television history. Perhaps you recall the fearless Honey West, a trailblazing detective with a panache for solving mysteries that left audiences in awe. Or maybe it's the timeless allure of Anne Francis, whose portrayal of the titular character exuded confidence and charisma, setting new standards for strong, independent female characters on screen. As you reflect on your personal connection with Honey West, I encourage you to share your cherished memories and thoughts. Did you find inspiration in Honey's indomitable spirit, or did the series ignite a lifelong love for detective stories? Your experiences are the threads that continue to enrich the legacy of this remarkable show. So, whether you're reminiscing about the unforgettable theme music, the sleek fashion of the 60 seconds, or the sheer brilliance of the storytelling, your voice adds to the symphony of appreciation for Honey West. Thank you for your time and interest in revisiting this classic gem. Your connection to this series is a testament to its enduring charm and significance in the world of television. Share your thoughts and memories with fellow fans, and let's keep the spirit of Honey West alive for generations to come. Warm regards.